Hello and welcome my Scorpio friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be my group reading for Valentine's Day. Well, let's be honest, the only reading you can do for Valentine's Day is a love reading. And that's what we're going to look at today is love. I'm not going to really focus in on twin flame or your soulmate. Rather, I want to focus in on that loving energy. How you can use it to strengthen current relationships that you have in your life, whether they be friendships or romantic relationships, and add in new positive loving relationships into your life. Now the decks I'm using for this reading, I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot, the Crystal Unicorn Tarot, and then the Angel Inspiration deck. Now, like always, there are links below to all these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. All right, my Scorpio friends, Let's see what the cards have to say today. How can my Scorpio friends improve existing relationships, oh, got a number of jumpers, in their lives and increase the amount of positive, loving relationships into their lives. Oh, fantastic. The first card, the lovers. This is a fantastic time to really connect in with those amazing, deeper connections. So if you do have someone special in your life, a soulmate, a twin flame, that's when you really want to nurture and embrace that energy. Work on those relationships, giving them some extra time and energy. For those who are looking for that individual, this is a time where you need to be observant and really rely on that intuition to connect you to the right person. Your soulmate or twin flame is going to be connecting in and attracted to your energy signature. It's not what you physically look like. It's not the, your material wealth. This is your energy signature that they're attracted to. And that's what you're going to be attracted to them. So working from that energy signature rather than heart signature or head signature, if you will. We can't overanalyze it and we can't just go with what we think we want. Following our intuition will help us find that soulmate or twin flame. Oh, interesting. The Hanged Man, the 12th card in the Major Arcana. He talks about letting go. And that really is connected into that letting go of what you, you think you're attracted to or what society thinks you should love. Let the universe bring in that soulmate or a twin flame to you. Allow individuals who have the same energy signature in your life. We put up barriers to people who we are told we shouldn't like or aren't for our greater good because society says so or because our family says so. Allow the universe to bring people to us that are going to be meaningful for us. Now, if you are in a relationship, this letting go can be bringing in friends or like-minded individuals or light, like energy individuals. Relaxing some of those expectations of relationships, expectations of roles, and using what's called our words to communicate with our existing relationships or prospective relationships so we have a better foundation to go forward from. Oh, you guys are getting some great cards. The Unknown. Now every now and then you get a tarot deck, the Crystal Visions is one of them, where they bring in an extra card. There's 73 cards in this tarot deck and the unknown is connected in to the Major Arcana. 
the unknown card talks about aspects that the universe is not willing to share with us just yet because we need to unfold and allow our journey to bring pieces and aspects that will make this have more sense and meaning in our life. Knowing that if the twin flame or your soulmate is to come in your world right now, that connection isn't going to be as meaningful until we connect into the hanged man and to the unknown card. There are aspects that we need to embrace and understand before that connection can be fully felt. Ooh, you guys, like I said, fabulous cards. Death. Part of what we need to connect in with are aspects of ourselves that are not working. The unknown card is very connected into the death card. We need to release some pieces before that knowledge is going to be shared with us. Release some of that control and allow others to step in and really share their power and their abilities with you. This isn't about you taking ultimate control. Rather, actually, you need to take a step back, relax a bit, be you, your authentic you, and allow things to unfold, release things that aren't working. And then finally, the Three of Cups. Threes are about expression and growth. The Cups, about intuition and emotion. The Three of Cups is also known as the triple aspect. It's usually three women, um, many times in differing age brackets, dancing and celebrating together. There is no leader, there is no follower. There is equality. And it's that equality and support that's really going to make a difference in relationships. Whether it be friendships, intimate relationships, your twin flame, your soulmate, whatever relationship. No one's in control. Everybody is really stepping into their own power and sharing it with each other. That positive, balanced relationship is the most important. Now some of us need to really embrace individuals who haven't yet come into our lives or our existence yet. Again, that goes back to the unknown card. There are players and aspects that we need to embrace before this can truly be felt and connected in with. All right, let's see what other stability and how we can create more stability in this. How can my Scorpio friends connect in and implement these energies and guidance into their lives to create stability and connectedness? Magician. What a fantastic card. The Magician is the first card in the Major Arcana and it talks about using our skills and abilities, our natural ones, connecting them in and amplifying them in our everyday to create a magic and abundance in our lives. Really connects in to this the lover's energy and into the Three of Cups. Being our authentic self using our skills and abilities to really push ourselves forward and take things to that next level. The Five of Wands. Fives are about conflict and change. We do have the Death card, the 13th card in the Major Arcana. We do need to release things. Anytime we're talking about that, we start to agitate our ego. Change is scary to your ego. That means he's going to start to push up and really aggravate that 
positive high vibrational energy with lower vibrational energies. The energies of past experiences of sadness, sorrow and loss. So that it slows you down. Part of what you need to release are those past experiences. And it's those past experiences that are going to slow us down. Those lower vibrational energies are going to disconnect us from the universe and disconnect us from any of those positive loving relationships, whether it be that twin flame lovers relationship or those friendships. <laughs> Sorry, my cards finally caught up to me. The Ten of Swords. Tens are about ending and beginning. The Swords about truth and knowledge. The Ten of Swords talks about past experiences and how they really are penning us down. Really reflects into what I just said about how past experiences and your ego are going to try and slow you down. We need to start to release some of those. Acknowledging them for what they are and how they're negatively impacting our lives. And then finally, the High Priestess. Connects into that higher vibrational energy. She has what's called Torah, which is the universal scroll of wisdom. She's a gatekeeper. She's gonna help us see what the unknown card isn't quite ready and willing to share with us. There's unknown mysteries that the High Priestess will reveal in time as we start to raise our vibration, release some of these lower vibrational energies and connect in to those positive, balanced relationships. We have the balance of these pillars. These are the pillars of Jerusalem. So we have the divine mass, our feminine and divine masculine. And it's in that balanced relationship and those balanced energies where we're going to start to raise our vibration. We also have the balancing of energies between the Magician and the High Priestess, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. No matter your sexuality or your gender, we all have the Divine Masculine and Feminine in with us. And we need both aspects to create in our lives. And it's going to be that balance that is going to really be key in helping us release some of this past burdens that we're carrying. All right, let's see what the angels have to add to this. What further wisdom and insight do the angels have for my Scorpio friends in embracing the energies and wisdom of Valentine's Day? So the first one, greet the dawn. Surprisingly enough, it's connected into the Ten of Swords. So in the original card, Pamela Coleman Smith drew a man being impaled by ten swords. Similar to this one, there's no blood. It's an emotional impalement, a spiritual almost nailing you to the ground. However, in the background, the sun is rising. It is time to greet the dawn, embrace your abilities and your skills, and taking them to that next level. When we embrace who we truly are, we raise our vibration, we attract that soulmate twin flame, and we also attract high vibrational people to us to help raise our vibration even further. Then we have Archangel Jophel. Archangel Jophel is a fantastic archangel of creativity and beauty. She also has this amazing talent, and I like to call it feng shuiing your brain. It'll help to release what is not needed or serving your greater good. She can help declutter some of these pieces. So when your ego is really starting to um, act up with the Ten of Swords and you have those past pieces come up, you can call on Archangel Jophel to help clear it out, 
You can also call on Archangel Raphael and Archangel Shamuel to start to heal you from these past pains. The three of them can work as a unified front to help embrace that release. Cherished innocence. Don't get bogged down in this, my friends. This should be full of light and love. Yes, I know we've got some kind of unknown cards here. We've got the death card. However, embrace your power. Have fun, enjoy, step into the light and bask in its warmth and its love. Because when you do that, when you start to enjoy and you start to play with it, that's when the lower vibrational energies start to slip away because you're starting to own and create in your life. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful and you're able to gain some direction and insight into what Valentine's Day and this amazing loving energy is offering you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. I have so many great new videos and ideas that are coming forward in the next couple weeks and months. The best way to stay connected so you don't miss any of the healing and insight is to subscribe to my channel and hit that little red bell so you don't miss a video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings and healings with myself. I've provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Scorpio friends.